drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to this season's live event. The Fortnite live event at Loot Lake is nearly here as the Resistance helped the Seven take back and reclaim their home island. This has caused the Imagine Order to retreat, forcing them to use their last resort, their big backup plan, a doomsday device. It's all built up to this. Here is everything we know about the live event so far. We started chapter three with the invasion of the Imagine Order onto the Seven's island. They set up residence and wanted the island for themselves, obviously because it holds the zero point. The Seven saw this coming and they got back in contact with Paradigm, who is currently up in space to see if they can work on fixing the cracks in the relationship. Yeah, the Foundation, the leader of the Seven, isn't happy with Paradigm after she exposed the zero point and used it to defeat the Devourer all the way back in season eight. Paradigm is known as the Seven's pilot and the scientists got back in contact with her after sending rockets back up into space to find her, with some of the attempts actually being sabotaged by the Imagine Order. After one of the launches was successful, we finally received a ping back from Paradigm. She's on her way back home, but is it too late? The Imagine Order have stormed the island and over this season, the Seven and the Resistance, us, have been putting up a major fight to reclaim back old land by pushing the Imagine Order out of each major landmark, destroying their blimps and taking over their machinery. After overruling many locations, the war at Tilted Towers is the most important one. The Imagine Order have fought back this time by dropping bombs that have been found with inside the blimps all over tilted. I mean, even the clock tower got hit. But is this all too little too late? The paradigm from space has detected weird energy fluctuation near Loot Lake and it's not looking good for us, the Resistance and the Seven. It looks like we may have fallen into the trap of the Imagine Order, just how Dr. Sloan was lured in by the Q Queen to destroy her ship. Maybe she's learned from this and now she's doing it to us. Dr. Sloan and the Imagine Order definitely have something up their sleeve. Why did they at the end of last season use a huge drill to drill from Command Cavern all the way past the Devourer Skull to the edge of Loot Lake. Something is definitely under there and Paradigm is picking up huge signals of something bad. But what is it? The Order, a brand new member of the Seven, has made her first appearance, completing the Seven, and she is seen spying on the Imagine Order and their final plan. In this loading screen of Earth, we can see our first glimpses at what this Doomsday device is going to look like. And it's not like any other Doomsday device we've seen in the past. It looks like some sort of huge radio tower from first glimpse. This is the same device we saw Dr. Sloan holding in the cinematic trailer for Season 2, where she eliminated all the bills. Is this what the Imagine Order Order have been working on under Loot Lake after drilling all the way there? My guess is that the huge vaulted doors inside Command Cavern is a huge tunnel leading to the project that's happening underground under Loot Lake. And come the end of the season when the live event happens, just as we think we're about to win this war, the water at Loot Lake is going to open and split and the Doomsday Device will appear. That's my theory anyway. But what will this Doomsday Device be controlling? It's not here to end the reality. Like I said, it looks like a radio tower. Could this be the Imagine Order controlling a Devourer? I mean, we've even got files found in-game of the monster groaning. I'll leave that down to you to decide. As we draw closer and closer to the live event, this will be the final phase, with the Imagine Order only having control over Loot Lake and Command Cavern, which is huge for the live event. So what's in store? for us. First of all, we've found some huge storyline information which has just been leaked, which is important for this live event build-up. The singularity we saw all the way back in Season 8 who was controlling the Mecha Team robot is 100% the same person as Paradigm. It's been something that's been going around for years now and it was never actually confirmed. I mean, even their suits are exactly the same. But it's 100% confirmed now that they're the same person as it was leaked via a new glider of all things that's going to be added to the game. The Seven have a bit of beef with Paradigm because obviously she used the zero point to help defeat the monster, pretty much putting all reality at risk just to win that fight. So that means all along it was actually Paradigm that was protecting the zero point inside the vault, disguised as Singularity. With nearly every seven member revealing their faces now, it only leaves the visitor and the scientist left. I wonder who they actually are. A lot of people have got the theory that Jonesy is actually the visitor. It looks like the cracks in the Seven's relationship have been put to the side for now as Paradigm is helping us from space. She might even turn up for this live event in a Mecha Team robot, as files we've just found in game suggest we might be searching for parts of the Mecha Team leader to help build it back together. These recent files were found suggesting as part of an upcoming quest, we have to find mech parts. As you know right now, we have the arm out at sea. It looks like all things lining up pretty perfectly that Paradigm will return and we will help build the mech team leader back to its original form of glory, potentially for a big fight. But with the live 
live event just around the corner, we've just found out that the Imagined and the Order both used to work for the Imagined Order. Wow, I never knew that. But what's really weird is that they've had their brains completely wiped and erased by the Seven. The Imagined has spent pretty much this whole season trying to work out her past and where she came from, whereas the Order has only just joined us in this fight and is currently spying on the Imagined Order to find out intel for us. Right before this live event commences, John Jones is actually investigating around the Imagined Order headquarters, snooping around trying to find old credentials by hacking into top secret Imagine Order servers. He finds all the old war plans, blueprints, info about the Seven, except the sisters. It seems although the files have been completely wiped, literally everything they know about them. John Jones has recently had a conversation with the Imagined last night and she's sick of not knowing who she is. It looks like she's gone and stolen the files to find out her past. Uh, this isn't going to end well. Soon as the Imagined and the Order find out their past and that the Seven actually wiped their brains, more than likely they're going to end up fighting against us. Imagine being told your current team that you work for actually ended up wiping your brain so you forgot all your past. They're not going to be happy. And more than likely, there's going to be a huge bust up between the seven just before this live event commences. In the build up to this and something that everybody's looked past, Epic have teased the introduction of someone very important throughout this season, the return of Midas. Now, the ghost flags, they were all over the map at one point. Each location that we overrun, a ghost flag was put up. But why did Epic Games take so long to take them out of the game and change them to the sevens logo now? It wasn't any old mistake. They put them out there on purpose as a little hint. The Imagine Order have a Doomsday Division, people that spend their whole time making Doomsday devices for different realities. Who do you think the leader is? I think it might be Midas, and we might see the return of him during this live event. That's just speculation though. It's all building up to this crazy live event, and just to add to it, look up in the sky right now. There is a massive Star Destroyer from Star Wars. It's currently just dropped off some Stormtrooper reinforcements to help the Imagine Order defend the island, but it also 100% confirms that Darth Vader will be here as a season 3 boss on the map. What's actually going to be happening in this live event? We don't actually know. It's always a last minute surprise with Fortnite. We just know everything that's going to be involved and the storyline surrounding it. The falling out of the Seven and the Sisters as they find out their past. The return of Paradigm in the mech. A doomsday device but not like one we've ever seen before. Underneath Loot Lake potentially controlling the monster. Maybe even the return of Midas and a ton more. And that is everything you need to know about this live event if you've got any theories for yourself put them in the comment section down below but that's everything we know from all the leaks that we got up to now if you end up buying anything from the fortnite item shop remember pop in code mmcs and i've picked out a video up on screen here just for you i reckon you'll enjoy it i'll, I'll see you guys over there